Denver Broncos Mile High View, no commercials, no bullshit. Uh, I just want to say Josh Allen. Um, have you have you heard of Josh Allen? There's this guy, his name's Josh Allen. Josh Allen. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's coming in right now. Josh Allen. I got I got it. Josh Allen. So this is what I want to say. This is all going to be the Josh Allen. That's all that you're going to hear from all these feel-gooders out there. But Josh Allen. So for all Bronco fans, I want to say this to you. You're you're all focused in Josh Allen, okay? Uh, the crew, Mark Slareth and his his co-host, had talked to Josh Allen, and they asked about his homecoming because he just plays up the road. Was playing up in the road in Wyoming. So is this, they said, is this kind of a, a homecoming for you? Josh Allen's answer was one thing. He just said, they didn't pick me. So while you're blaming Vic Fangio, while you're blaming Drew Locke, just remember, and you're over-glorifying Josh Allen, okay, will you start holding Elway accountable? Will you start doing it? Okay. Because while you're focused on Josh Allen, who is the guy who didn't pick him? Why are Elway. you? Yeah. Why do you continue to apologize for Elway? Okay. It wasn't Fangio who didn't pick Josh Allen. It wasn't Locke who picked himself. And, and here's the thing that you Josh Allen people will never be able to understand. Because in your little world, your, well, I don't have my bubble. In your little bubble. Yeah. <laughs> In your little bubble, okay, all you know is, oh, if Josh Allen would just come to the Broncos, we would just be like the Bills. No, you wouldn't. Number one, all they've talked about pregame, all they've talked about during the game is Josh Allen's development. Do you think John Elway, who can't even get the quarterback position right, okay, he, get, he gave you Lynch, right? You think that guy's going to be able to develop a Josh Allen to be who he is today? When are you people going to get off your fucking ass and hold this guy accountable? You, the one that just can't stop talking Josh Allen, but you'll never say anything about Elway. All right? That was, I, that, I had to get that out there because this whole thing's going to be a Josh Allen show. I can tell oh, yeah. you, you just saw linebackers that are in another universe compared to the Broncos. Uh, lines that are in another universe, okay? Let's, let's just knock this off. How about special teams that are in another universe? Why, are, why is it that the Broncos have better, or excuse me, why is it the Bills have better player personnel? Why? Because it's the people picking them. We have nobody picking good. You'll talk about Casey. Oh, Casey Simmons, who was a major failure today. And Soccer. Yeah, yeah, and you'll go and talk about our best players. Well, our best players aren't good enough. They're a crack. When you put them up against the Bills, Tampa's, Pittsburgh's, you put them up against all these teams. Oh, stop sitting there and saying we're just a quarterback away from becoming those guys. You are wrong. Go ahead. I love this. I love this channel. I, I, uh, I, I, I like. Uh, your analysis specifically, because you are you are the embodiment of, of a Pat Bull and Bronco fan. You're the embodiment of what Bronco fans used to be, and you're the embodiment of how how truthful and how real this channel is. Okay, I specifically said specifically said to you, feel good crap, that this is going to be a blowout. I said, every good team that we face, we are going to get blown out. Because you know why? Because It's not because of Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, etc. But in your little universe that you guys like to live in, you are pissing on the legacy of Pat Bullen. It's not, it's not just John Elway. I'm calling out every Bronco fan that supports this crap. Oh, 8-8, eight and 10-6. Eight, and six. Oh, we barely squeak in and we get blown out in the first round. You are the embodiment. You are not Bronco fans. You are losers. Because you know why? Because you support this crap. You support the likes of John Elway, who you have a little poster in your little heart right next to it. Oh, hold on a second.
I got one. Can you see that, or is there too much glare? No, I, 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 I see it. I see it. And, and I still am saying what I'm saying. And and still, you guys sit there and support the likes of the decision making of him. Let's let's just let's just name off a few. Getting rid of Wade Phillips. Getting rid of. Gary Kubiak, who wanted to retire because he couldn't stand Elway. That's the whole reason he retired. Shocker. Drafting Paxton Lynch. Not drafting offensive linemen. Uh, drafting, dare I say, Bradley Chubb. But I like Bradley Chubb. I think that's a good decision if you have a good team already in place. And then, by all means, you, get, you fire all your offensive coordinators. You can't be stable at that position, and, and, and you guys just sit up there and feed the same old bullshit that, oh, it's, it's, it's Vic Fangio. Do you see what he's working with? I specifically said yeah. that Justin Simmons is not a top five freaking safety, and I am, I am continuing to prove all you STR, you feel good crap fans, right. And the linebacking sucks. Go ahead. Yeah. The line, you, you, you see Buffalo's linebacking? It is completely in a different universe. Our I mean, I got to break film down about just how horrible our linebacking is compared to, to somebody like Buffalo. They have built a team from the ground up. And they, Thank they, you. Yeah, and they put what we've been saying. And then they put Josh Allen in the top of this. But, it, but Josh Allen wasn't doing all this that he's doing today. He was basically kind of like Drew Locke. They developed him step by step because they did it properly. Yeah, well, they have proper coaching to do that too. So it's a, it's a it's a myriad of things. So you asked Fangio to come to to the Denver Broncos, right? And with no quarterback, no system, nothing. And now you're going to fire him, and and you know he's going to get a job right away. That's not going to be a problem. He's going to get, oh. and he's going to succeed. He's going to oh, succeed yeah. where he goes, just like everybody else is succeeding and once they leave the, the Denver job. Broncos. So you can get rid of Locke, whatever. I don't know what, what you think is going to happen bringing in another guy into a mess that I'm you're going to do something different. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can I just take it back off? I'm not going to talk about the quarterbacks because Drew Locke isn't the issue. It's the whole team. I'm tired. Of, you know, I've made the grave mistake of talking well, about I, Drew Locke. Hold, hold on a second. I, I would say that I would put it this way. He's a part of a bigger issue. He's a part of a bigger issue. You know, well, is, you he getting, any... is he getting developed properly? No, he's you know, not. No, you know, still needs to work on foot. There's still a lot, but there's still a lot going against him, too. You just exactly. But go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. No, but I'm just saying that that this team, we need to get start getting real players, real Thank difference you. makers. Well, this is this is what what I saw. As soon as the Denver Broncos went into their second possession, they went right immediately into the Shermer deal. That first possession they had, they were running the, they were doing what they did in, in Carolina, like we said. Immediately they started getting pass happy, and that's when everything went down the tubes. Because you're not the Buffalo Bills, you're not the Kansas City Chiefs. You are who you are. Stay within what you can do best. No. We have coaching, a coaching staff, mainly on the offense, mainly Shermer, yes, who can't, who can't get out of that, okay? I know it's all Vic Fangio, right? It's all Vic, everything on the offense. And, and you know when you're watching this game, especially in the beginning, on the sideline, Fangio is with his, you know, one of the defenses on here. Does he look like a head coach or does he look like a defensive coordinator? Defensive coordinator. A defensive coordinator, exactly. Thank you. He's He's not a head coach. He's not a head coach. So Shermer sit, sits there and says, oh, okay, Josh Allen just keeps throwing the ball, so I've got to keep throwing the ball, even though your first possession was really a good oh. possession. It was your best possession of the game, other than your garbage time touchdown. I, I can't stand Pat Shermer. I can't stand John Elway because these are the two freaking people that don't understand Football 101 on the offensive side of the ball. You go off of what freaking works. 
How you know what? I we should have we should have we should have saw this coming from a mile away. I don't even trust Pat Shermer. I'm done with him. I'm done. I you could the continuity. I don't care about that shit. I I am done with Pat Shermer. He is worse than Rich Gangarillo, worse than Bill Musgrave. But oh, but who fired him? Oh, your golden boy, feel good fans. And in in the comment section, when you guys comment on this crap. Don't say it's all about the freaking quarterback because right there you made yourself look look look, look fucking stupid. Well, yeah. Well, who was who picked the quarterback you don't like? Yeah, who picked who picked the coaches? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That you don't like. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. You got. Yeah, it, that's that's the continuing thread of all this. That's the continuing thread. And, and we can say that and, you know th- that's why we're here because we're not going to be sports talk radio just. Josh Allen, Josh Allen, Josh Allen, Josh, did you, Josh Allen, Josh Allen, Josh, hey, hey, listen, Josh Allen, did you hear? It's not about Josh Allen, okay? It's a bigger picture outside of that bubble. You bring Josh Allen here, James Merrillette, you got that part right. You bring, you bring Josh Allen here, he is not going to be developed properly. He has to go to somewhere like Buffalo, oh, has an organization that has its act together. Okay, Shocker. this was about this wasn't about drafting it was about Josh Allen. It was about developing him. Okay, look what happened to Sam Darnold, who was a decent quarterback, goes to a crap organization. Same thing with him. If you go to a crap organization as a quarterback, you're going to be nothing but crap. You got to go to an organization that has its act together that can build from the foundation out and then put you on top of that and give you the He's best it. chance. To succeed in many ways, not just a certain way. And do we trust John Elway to do that? Hell no, because he hasn't been able to do it the past five, six, seven years since he's it's been here. It's just gotten worse. It's just gotten it's, worse. It's worse. It's just like gotten said, worse. The linebacking, oh my God. I can name so many instances in this game where they were exposed, not getting off their freaking blocks. Their sideline to sideline instincts suck. Uh, Justin Simmons. Just, okay. He, here's the book on Justin Simmons. Okay. He is a he is a solid B minus player. But you are you you feel good fans want to pay him like he's a top five safety. Kareem Jackson. You brought it up when you texted me. Mark Slareth is praising Kareem Jackson. Next play gets off the freaking touchdown. Yeah, he and looks the, so inconsistent. And the only thing that saved that touchdown that that Kareem Jackson took a bad angle on a holding was, call. was a was a was a, bell, a holding call. So the the bottom the, I'm going to bottom line this for fans. Okay, the organization stinks. Number one, you don't have the player <laughs> personnel to even run with these. Sure, sure. You if the schedule is right, everybody's healthy. You could go 10 and 6 if everything works out. But once you meet these big dogs in the playoffs, they're going to eat you alive. So your 10 and 6 doesn't mean shit. <laughs> it just doesn't when you go up against a real organization. Get it through well, your ass. Well, how many times have we said well, we we know what good teams are? We're not me and you aren't stupid. Me and you know football. How many times have we said every time that we come again, every time we go against a good team, we are going to get absolutely eaten alive? And it happens all the time. It happens every single time. This well, game, we beat the Panthers. We beat the Panthers. They're an up and coming team, but they're not on the level of the Bills, of Steve, all these other teams. They're not on the level of them yet, but I see the trajectory of where they're going to go. They're, 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 you think that the, the Carolina Panthers, this is just a side note, you think the Carolina Panthers are going to beat the Packers, who are a Super Bowl perennial team? No, because the Packers, you know, they had Aaron Rodgers, but they actually got their act together and started drafting defense and offensive linemen. They had to. You'll, oh, my Aaron God. Rodgers but, but Aaron Rodgers is an MVP candidate. candidate. Aaron Rodgers, the last couple of years, wasn't doing crap. Thank you. Yeah, because why? Because he had no no – player personnel around him shocker yeah yeah now it was player personnel from the like i said the the ground up the 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 foundational players and that's what the bills have bills have those and they're all up and coming they even got rid of jordan phillips but they they drafted even though they had him they drafted a replacement in the first round 
That's what the I, that's what the 49ers did every year. Now, now here, here, if you watch this game, Josh Allen could have read a book back there. War and Peace. And looked up every now and then, went back to look at read his book, look up, oh, and throw the ball. It they they the they were ta- the commentary was talking about that. Oh my god. And w- that what have we been saying the whole year? Oh, well, we got Casey, right? Well, show me your get, give me show your Shelby Harris. Oh well, my god. Give, show me show me your bottle. Bring that empty bottle, that that empty water bottle. Okay, let's talk about Casey. Let's just, that's all we know about. It's all we know about. We just know Casey. That's a, we don't know about this whole other universe of other players out there. Okay. Well, all we know is Casey because that's all sports radio. That's all he talked about. Like yeah, Casey, Casey, Casey. Just well, like John. Don't Allen. forget about the field good fans either. Yeah. So I'm saying, well, let's get these other players. Then I bring this up last. See, nobody could understand why, even though we won, why I was ticked off at what I was seeing. Nobody could understand that. I don't get it. Do you get it now? Do you get it now? We don't have the player personnel to run with the big dogs. Do you get it now? And, and, and who's the meddling coach on this team? Who's the meddling coach? The meddling Who is owner. the freaking head coach on this team? The meddling it's owner. John Elway. All you freaking lovers of him, I swear to God. It's not the quarterback that just makes everything run. I mean, if you, right here is the day and age of where we're at. We have so many feel-good fans in Broncos country. They have ruined the embodiment of what true. No, 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 no. Just get Matthew Stafford. Please get Matthew Stafford. I can't see anything else. I just see Matthew Stafford. Please. Everything will be okay if we just get Matthew Stafford. It'll be okay if we get Cam Newton. (laughs) 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 Yeah, yeah. God. They're in their little bubble. That's yeah, 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 yeah. They're all in their little bubble, you know. They're all in here, you know. Just you know, James Mars, all the all you idiots. Oh, oh man, Casey, we can't get rid of Casey. We oh, can't no. get rid of Boye. <laughs> no. no. And, and what did we say about uh, Graham Glasgow? Oh my God, he was getting pushed back at will, and he couldn't even run block. That's a no, guy he, he's four years too. Really, you're Ron Leary. You're Ron Leary 2.0. What yeah. a freaking shocker. Yeah, yeah. God. Uh, you might as well put that rookie out there, you know? Yeah, Moody. I'd rather have Moody out there than Graham Glasgow. And Cushenberry, he's getting pushed back. I mean, yep. what do you expect Locke to do? I mean, seriously, behind that offensive line, what do you what do you expect? I mean, that's what I had to realize. Like, what well, do you expect coming from this offensive I line? And the- Cushenberry... This one, I, I thought it was a linebacker. Maybe it could have been a lineman. I thought it was a linebacker. You couldn't even hold the linebacker back. But uh, Cushenberry and 60, who's 66 out there? I, Reisner. Reisner. Thank you. <laughs> Reisner. Two of them were on one guy, and they, he just threw both of them off. Two guys. Two of guys. Reisner, you guys loved him so much and talked about Reisner, Reisner. Oh, Reisner. and Bowles. And Bowles. You know, yeah, Bulls, just, Bulls really uh, didn't do that great either. And you guys, and I this, watched you gave one, guy. one Bills defender push two Bronco offensive line linemen off and just pancake uh, Drew Locke. So you're going to blame Drew Locke when you got that kind of an offensive line to work with. And you already paid Garrett Bulls a top, what, top five left tackle money? This is what I was worried about. I told you this is what I was worried about. I mean, you given a guy that is that we had put all the resources in just to make Elways make him feel better and make him tickle freaking pink. And you had to freaking sit there and explain to us, oh, we can just forget about the four other guys on the offensive line. We'll get hot tub time machine. We'll get another hot tub time machine. We'll get a rookie center instead of having a veteran, then drafting a rookie. And then you have Reisner has regressed. I mean, th- that's what you've done. You have ruined this offense. You ruined Munchak. You don't do any favors because you're in your route running concepts. By the way, we can talk about the route running concepts real quick. His route running concepts and triple coverage. Are you freaking kidding me? His route concepts suck. It's always a drag route. It's always a drag route. It's always a drag route. My God. (laughs) 
the uh, um, he's ruined Munchak because they spent so much I'm time trying to, to get bowls. All this, <laughs> all this tension to bowls because we know who where the ego has landed. We know the ego. Oh, look what we've done with bowls. The whole rest of the line has gone down the tubes. Yeah, well, we got bowls. We got bowls taken care of. Where's your bubble? Where's your show me your bubble? Where's your bubble? Your your uh, get your little soda or your water. Okay, okay. We, we he's uh, he's in there. He's, he's <laughs> <laughs> he, he, our our left tackle is in there. Okay, that's our left. Just, let's just keep talking about what, <laughs> how wonderful he is. Okay. <laughs> Your bowls is in that, in that, in that. It, that's just nothing else. Just that's. Don't no forget about him. You, you know, Peyton Manning. You know. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah, yeah there, go, let's just focus on bowls. Yeah, fo just focus on how bowls, bowls, great bowls. Pro bowler, pro bowler. But what? Wait, wait a minute. What about the rest of the offensive line? <laughs> what about the defensive right line? Too? <laughs> oh, Casey, oh, Casey, 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 rest of the defense line, yeah. linebackers, <laughs> safeties, boy, a <laughs> Michael Jamudia, Justin Simmons, dude, they better not. Oh, man, if they pay him top 10, oh my god, I'm gonna lose my shit. If they if they pay him top five, I'm gonna be pissed. I don't care if you don't have player personnel. I'd rather have him walk. He sucks. <laughs> so, and, you, and you know what? Can, we, can I give you credit where credit is due, please? You are the first person to come on this channel, to make this channel, seriously. You are the first person to make this channel and call LA out. And have you, you've been right ever since. Ever since. Well, that, that's, that's exactly It's not what. hard. Why, when everybody's talking about Josh Allen and they're making it a Josh Allen versus Locke topic, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. John Elway could have brought Josh Allen here. If you don't talk about that, then you're not true to yourself. Josh Allen, or uh, John Elway, threw that pick away, okay? He had him right there, dead to right. Threw it away. So don't you dare talk to me, Bronco fans, about Josh Allen if you're not willing to talk about John Elway and face what how bad of a GM he really is. Okay, he's the worst if you're GM going, in football. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, he's yeah. I don't he's, care, I don't I don't care about the Jets. Is he a GM? Is he an owner? Is he a head coach? I mean, he's he's all three. He's all three. Maybe a fourth one too, an owner. Yeah, or yeah, player person. Some. It, uh, this guy, it, we keep saying that he needs to get these better talent, especially for agency. They're not going to come here, okay? We just have to <laughs> – me and you have oh, – jo Because realize. Josh Allen is – jo Josh Allen is – that's why they're not going to – it's not Elway, it's Josh Allen. Josh Allen's not here. If Josh Allen was here, they'd all come here. Back to Elway. Back to Elway. If, jo if Josh Allen could have been here. But the guy that picked Lynch and thought Lynch was the greatest thing since toilet paper – Passed on Josh Allen. Now, you think he's going to get the rest of the team right? He's no. a quarterback who can't pick a quarterback. So you think he's going to get Shocker. the rest of the team no. right? So please, no. Pete, don't give me Josh Allen if you're not going to talk about Ellie. Please. And, and, and please, I also want to say this to the feel-good fans in STR. Stop giving me that John Elway built that whole Denver Broncos team when they won the Super Bowl. Stop giving me that shit, okay? Yeah. It was Adam Peters and Pat Bowen. Stop giving me that crap, okay? It was it was it was Adam Peters, Pat Bowen who built the offense and defensive line, and oh wow, look what happened! They're shit. Their special teams suck, and and I tell everybody this: the mark of a good team is how you are on the special teams. Because it shows. Wow, why does our special team personnel. sucks? It's a reflection exactly. of player and, personnel. And, exactly. And we had a kicker out there today because of the stupid actions of everybody's favorite kicker, Brandon McMoney, who, oh, by okay. the way. Yes, now that's another thing that we need to talk about. Every, God, week, every week under Elway, every week under Elway, it's, it's, a, it's a new clown. It's the latest clown show. 
This week it was McManus. Shocker. Last week it was Boye. The other the week, week it was, that was with the mask. The whole we're not wearing a yeah. mask. Yeah. So every week we got a clown show here because of Elway. How you people cannot stop start can ha, cannot talk about that or want to ignore that? You know what it is. You have to ignore it because it's a it's a horrible truth that you don't want to face. But he's got to go. The, uh, yeah. the Broncos need to be sold. They need an owner. Yeah. LA, where is he? Yeah, he's in the bubble there. Just, you know, don't yeah. ignore him. Ignore that bubble. Ignore it completely. Oh, man, I'm being entranced. Oh, it's not, it's not LA's fault. No, it's not. I see Fangio. Wait, wait, wait. Hold that back up. Fangio. I see Fangio in there. So let's talk all about Fangio firing. Fire, 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 fire. Oh, I see Locke. Where is fire, he? Fire, fire. Oh, yeah, there he is. There, there he is. is. Yeah, get rid of him. Now, here's what's going to happen. So you go ahead and fire Fangio. But that's okay. Because now you can put Shermer. You can put make Shermer that head coach, okay? That, that's, how, okay that's how brilliant Elway is. But this is the thing. That nobody will pay. I'm Elway. Nobody will pay attention to me. They'll all look at Shermer now. They'll all be on Shermer. Then I, I won't, yeah. STR will protect me. STR will not say anything about me. It'll all be now on Shermer. Shermer, Shermer. You know, and Elway is, just puts another another blo another curtain in front of him, another layer of the onion. What does it say to you about if you know that's what they're going to talk about this week? It, it's just going to be Josh Allen, Fire Fangio, draft another quarterback. It just yeah, be the same yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, we need Josh Allen. Bronco fans, Josh Allen comes to the Denver Broncos. Nothing changes. Except you just ruined Josh Allen's career. Okay, yeah. he is not going yeah. to. He is not going to bring you the linebacking. He's not going to bring you the schemes. He's not going to bring you the the people who worked with Josh Allen with him. That's in Buffalo. I know you don't want to see that. I know that's totally alien to you in your world. We get that bubble. Okay, I under I, yes. I, none of that exists in the bubble. You know everything that uh, Josh Allen has in Buffalo is not here in Denver. That that thought is not in your world, that little bubble world of yours. Okay. Can I say something about the Buffalo Bills real quick? Their yeah. offensive coordinator, Brian Dable, is an offensive genius, and he is wet heads and shoulders above Pat Shermer. I mean, this guy actually knows how to run a freaking offense. And you have Pat Shermer who sits there and is little, look, I'm watching the game and they shoot a pan shot, and he's like this. You know, I, I don't see him engaged. I don't see him getting pissed. He has no emotion as a coach. And I, I, I just, I can't do it with Shermer. It's the same old, it, you know what? Go back and watch the film when you get the time tomorrow or whenever. Go back and watch the past few of his games. It's always the drag route. It's always the freaking drag route to Noah Fant or Judy because Judy has to get his catches. He didn't catch the ball, by the way. He should have caught that ball. But that being said, this is ridiculous. I'm so tired of Pat Shermer. I said this is. I said I don't. I sh I should just go back to what I said a few weeks ago. I don't trust Pat Shermer on a daily, on a weekly basis to get anything right because his ego is too big. Like always. Well, who hired Shermer? Oh, oh, the, oh, oh. Fangio. That was Fangio. Where? Oh, oh yeah, Fangio. Yep, yep. Yeah, Fangio, yeah. No, yep. That, that, I don't see Elway in that bubble. Yeah, yeah. I, where is he? Oh, I was I don't old, see Fangio. Him. No, Elway had nothing to do with hiring Shermer. No, 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 no. It's all Fangio's fault. Yeah, and he, you. I think we should talk about the promises that Elway made to Fangio. I am so, yeah. Fangio is. I I want him to leave. I, I he he he. I want him to have success. <laughs> yeah. You want him to. You want him to get free from prison. Yes. Because when he gets yes. hired, when once he gets hired, because he'll get snatched up so fast. Oh no, yes. And, and uh, you know any team that's willing to want to build up their defense, and uh, that knows how to bring in player personnel, but he'll get snatched up, and the first thing they'll say is, "You're out of prison now. Congratulations. You're out of all these evil clutches." Well, no. Okay. I do who's have a quick question. Oh, sorry. Yeah. sorry. No, I said, who's going to replace Shermer when Shermer goes? When Shermer goes, the sports talk radio is going to say. Well, it was Fangio that hired Shermer, so naturally Elway had to fire Shermer. <laughs> Elway has nothing to do with this mess. Oh, my God. 
I do have a question for you. What do you think of the fight between Shelby Harris and Bradley Chubb? I think Shelby Harris is gone. I don't want him back. I think he's leaving. I think he knows this is a bullshit organization. I, I, I think that that defense is just finally cracked. Yeah, I, I, I do too. Well, and, you know, like I said, all they could do was soft zone. All they could do was hopefully prevent him from going into the red zone. Once they couldn't prevent him from going in the red zone, they knew they were done. Can Did I, we can call I, that? I, I would encourage everybody to look at watch our pregame show because we said all this in the pregame show that if if they did could if they couldn't keep them out of the red zone that if that say la vie it was over they were going to ro- go up and down on the, on the Broncos that's just you know, all they could do uh, is stop them in the red zone that's it and 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 you know what we could talk about the discipline on this team but Michael Jamudia I I don't know what he was thinking I. I no, no, it is what it is, but uh, I, I don't. Tanner Johnson, that was stupid. Our, our and, great, you know our great linebacker. And, 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 and can we, I want to elaborate on this point real quick. You don't see the good teams in the National Football League have these issues, like making stupid freaking penalties like Alexander Johnson. Don't have fights on the freaking sideline, but under Elway's leadership, oh my God. Under Elway's, oh no, okay, I can't talk about. Under Vic Fangio's leadership, they have had so many fights. Yeah, Elway doesn't exist in that world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah who's forgot. Elway? It's ah oh, man, it, it, Beth Broner's right. John Elway has ruined this team. Yeah, it's all. This is a this is a John Elway loss, and he has made this team un, un unrecognizable. We are not respected. And uh, everybody can just do anything they want against us, and it's a clown show news article every freaking week. Well, any team that's that's a, any organization that's a solid organization, yeah, it's frustrating. Well, you just—I guess we can only wait till 2022, 2022, and you know when the ownership we finally get an owner, hopefully. And then that, that, I want to do a show about. I do not want yeah. LA, and I do not want anybody in the trust involved no. in whatever owner comes. Mm-hmm. I want them completely removed out of the equation, completely. I do not yeah. want Beth Bolin, or I'm sorry, uh-huh. I do not want Brittany Bolin. No. Because to me, the real, whole reason they're trying to push her is because I think they think that Elway or the rest or some of these people are going to be drugged back into the, I want them gone. And I don't see Beth, or I don't, Beth, I do not see Brittany Bolin Firing Elway, firing all the rest of the trust, and starting fresh. Yeah, I, I don't want think she's got. I don't think she's. Up. She doesn't have the tits. She hasn't got them. You're gonna no, have to no. somebody with some with some guts. And, and she, I don't, I don't believe she has it. You know, we need to blow this thing up. Yeah. Well, I mean, we need we, the Broncos need ownership. The Broncos need ownership. It just no, no, wait, wait. We have an owner. We have no, no. We have an owner. It's Elway. Remember, it's Elway. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and a head coach, and a GM. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yep, yep. Don't forget about Joe Ellis either. Don't forget about him. He's in this bubble. Uh, Joe Ellis. He got the name on the stadium. Good for him. He's the yeah. owner. Yeah, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with that guy. Nobody from the trust. I want them all gone. Every one of them. Uh, get another owner. Hopefully, we, you don't get Snyder 2.0. Hopefully, you get you know Bowling, but you're not going to get it with Brittany. Oh God. So so we know where this is all going. It's all going to be Josh Allen. It's all going to be Fire Fangio. It's all going to be about Lock. It's going to be nothing about why are we here right now? Elway. El, it's nothing about that. Why did Elway not draft this guy? If that if everybody is if if Josh Allen. See, see, this is the thing. Josh Allen, he, he came out of college. This is how he was right out of college. He didn't go to an organization that had to develop him and put the right players around him, put the right coaching staff. Around. No, no, he came out of It was just a pick. It, it was the pick. If he would have came here, all that stuff magically would have happened. He, 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 he would have been just like Drew Locke is. Yeah, that's the one thing Marillac got right. The part he didn't get right was the one constant, Elway. So that, that's, 
that's that's our rant so do you have that's anything else rant. no so i'll break it down but you're right but maybe that's what i should do is i should look at the difference between the the play calling well it's josh allen it's josh, it's a lot josh allen lock josh josh allen just just look at the way they used cole beasley just look at the way they used Stephon Diggs. Look how they used Isaiah McKenzie. Oh, you remember him? Isaiah? Oh, no. We don't remember Isaiah McKenzie. And look how good he's doing. Look how good he's doing in Buffalo. Oh, look he's a loving they- life there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's going to be there for a long time. And I love Sean McDermott. I think he's a hell of a coach. But, yeah, but he ain't going to. You gonna- know, Elway, you You're know, not we have to go after. With here, not, not with Elway. Because it's either his way or the highway, and you know we got the highway. And I want to end off of this. You think that the players are laughing at us? It's not just the players. It's coaches. It's officials. It's other organizations that are just, just like, man, aren't we happy that we are facing Denver this week? Yeah, you know, we, it, it, we, we are that team. We are that team. We are that team. When it comes to the big dogs, we are that team. Oh, yeah, yep. they could wait to get here so they could seal that, that playoff spot. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to get here to put, you know, do uh, stats, you know, make our stats look a little bit better. Did you hear about Josh Allen? What? Josh Allen. I just heard it. Josh Allen. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, I heard about him. <laughs> yeah, there, nothing else exists. It's just him. Yeah. You see yep, him in that yep. bubble there? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. It's Josh Allen. <laughs> Nothing outside I see him. exists. Nothing. I see him. I see you, Josh Allen. Oh, there he is. <laughs> and nothing else. I don't see anything else. All right. Oh. All righty. We'll go uh, lick our wounds and at least we'll, we'll, watch we... some... we'll, we'll go watch some good football here. That's what I'm going to do. Hey, how about that Simmons? Uh, that last, what's what did the score end up being with when Simmons blew that coverage? Like forty-eight to something. Forty-eight to Josh Allen. <laughs> forty-eight to John Elway. Yeah, John who? Only uh, John. Elway, it's only yeah, good who's stuff. Who's that? Yeah, it's only good yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's only, if it's good, it's got to be Elway. <laughs> <laughs> oh god all right all right take care all right. yeah i'll talk to you later all right bye bye